All right, uh, Bob Cornell with you, and I uh, just wanted to come on here and pray with you, and I'm going to see uh, how many are, are able to uh, log on, and, and uh, I just want to pray for your needs today and, and encourage you also uh, with the word that God's laid upon my heart. And, uh, and so, again, I just want to encourage you, want to pray, want to pray for your, your needs today. I know there are so many that have emailed us and have called us and, uh, or messaged us through Facebook or by other means, emails, uh, to let us know about needs that you have. And so, um, we want to, I just want to pray. I want to pray for you and encourage you, uh, today, uh, with some things the Lord has laid upon, uh, laid upon my heart. Um, and, in Philippians chapter four, in Philippians chapter four, this, this is what Paul wrote to the Philippians while he was in jail. He said, rejoice in verse four, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice, I rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. And then he goes on to say, let your gentleness be known to all men or your meekness, let your meekness or your kindness, it can be translated, let your gentleness, your meekness, your kindness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Paul was saying, he, he was letting the Philippians know, Jesus is coming soon. And we need to live like that in the world that we're living in. So have an attitude of, of gratitude, an attitude of rejoicing, an attitude of praise. Let praise come out of your mouth. And let your gentleness, your kindness, the, the, the character of Jesus be known to all men. Then he said this, he wrote this, be anxious for nothing. The King James says, be, take no thought for anything. Take no thought. In other words, take, don't take a thought of worry, of, of fear, of, 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 of anxiety. Be anxious for nothing. Don't be worried or fearful about anything. And you know, what's amazing about it is that, that here's Paul writing from a prison cell and uh, he's writing from a prison cell and he's letting the Philippians know, don't worry about anything. If there was any, if there was someone who, who would be tended to, you would, you would think to, would lean towards being worried. It would be the apostle Paul, but he's encouraging the Philippians. Don't be concerned. Don't worry yourself with anything. But he said this, but in everything, in prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, and I want to read that again slowly, but in everything, in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ. You see, what I, I want to encourage you today, and if I'm looking down, I'm looking down at the screen, and, and Karen, I want to uh, remember your, your mother who uh, has cancer. Um, yes, and uh, all right, I want to pray, and uh, we're going to pray for, for physical healing for you, can, uh, uh, that need, Karen, and if you have a need here, just go ahead and mention it. Uh, I want to specifically mention those prayers today, those prayer needs, I should say, and, uh, and pray for you. Uh, because you know what? We as the body of Christ, we need to be praying for each other. And I, I strongly believe that God answers prayer. And he ta he, Jesus told us in Mark eleven twenty four. 24, and I'm paraphrasing now, but if he said, if you ask anything in my name, I'll do it. Ask anything in my name and I'll do it. And of course, we the first response to that is, well, it's got to be a, a accordance with God's will. Of course it does. But hear me today. Salvation for lost loved ones is the will of God. 
healing for your body. We have to believe this. It's it's the what, what if it doesn't happen? That's not on us. We're not the healer. What we have to do, what Jesus told us to do, is just believe. Just believe. I was just on the a phone uh, with a with a brother that that attends our Covenant Church, and. Uh, praying with him, believing the Lord would, would touch his physical body. You see, it's not on us to, to heal, it's on us to believe and believe that the Lord would heal, would, that his power would flow through us to bring healing. That's the will of God. Uh, restoration of families, that's the will of God. Uh, deliverance from drug addiction and deliverance from uh, and any addiction, any, whatever it is, wh whether it's uh, sexual morality or religion and legalism, that's God's will to be delivered from that. And so we need to believe God for those things and believe God for other people. And I want to believe the Lord with you today. So I see that uh, Richard and then uh, I see that Carleen, that prayer need there. Uh, and Gerald, I see that your wife, all right, need a uh, job. I want to pray, uh, pray for that, and um, praise the Lord. And I just want to uh, go back to Karen real quick here. Uh, all right, I want to pray for your mom and then your sister uh, and father. In the name of Jesus, we just lift up Karen's mother right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for healing. We pray for her sister who has cancer. We believe you, Lord. God, for healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Her mother-in-law, God, has got a spot in her lung. God, we just believe you for healing from cancer. We take authority over it in the name of Jesus. Let your healing virtue flow like a river, God, to Karen and her family in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we believe you, Lord. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, Lord, we lift up Brother Scott uh, Corbin. We pray for healing for him. In the name of Jesus, let him receive your healing touch today. We believe a miracle for him in Jesus' name. And Father, we lift up Gerald and his wife uh, in need of a job. We pray, God, that you would that God, you would just supernaturally provide a job, Lord, for, Gerald, for Gerald's wife. We believe you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you hear us right now. And we ask that, God, you'd supernaturally provide a job for Gerald's wife and everyone else, Lord, today who needs employment or better employment, Lord. We just, or we just pray that, God, you would supply that in a supernatural way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I lift up Loretta. God, touch her, Father, today. Encourage her. Lord, you know her need. And I ask that, God, you just strengthen and encourage Loretta in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And uh, Gerald, also a sister uh, in upstate New York. Uh, yes, I see that. So many needs. There's more needs in here that I can really... I just want to mention them, though. Uh, and, uh, Father, we just pray for healing in that family, Gerald's family, in the name of Jesus. We believe you, Lord, for restoration of health from leg problems, from lung, lung problems, Lord, every other problem. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you hear us. And Lord, you are our healer and our provider. You are the lamb. You supplied the lamb for Abraham. And Lord, you supply healing through the lamb for us today in the name of Jesus. Lord, I lift up David. God, I pray that, God, you would just uh, touch him, Lord. He wants his freedom back. And I pray, God, that you would touch him, spirit, soul, and body. Let the freedom, the liberty, 
that comes through you, Jesus, and comes through the Holy Ghost. Let it come to David right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, you've not given us a spirit of bondage to fear, but of freedom and liberty from the power of sin and anything else that would hold us bondage. We take authority over those things in Jesus' name. Lord, let his eyes be open to the liberty that he has in you. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. Uh, Jerry, I see that. I want to, Lord, we pray, God, for Jerry, for, uh, well, he's praying for everyone, for good employment for all. Amen. Uh, Leslie, I need divine intervention for a hurtful situation. Father, we pray for Leslie right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray, God, that you would just divine intervention, your intervention, Lord, that you would step into her situation, Father, and meet that need in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Spirit, soul, body, financially, in every way. Oh, the devil's a liar. Oh, I hear that, Leslie, for you. The Satan is a liar. God is with you, and if God before you, then who can be against you? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Faith, I see that. Yes, bring the prodigals home. Yes, we need to pray for prodigal family members that have strayed away from the Lord. Father, we lift up for family members and sons and daughters, Lord, moms and dads and family members and friends that have strayed away from the faith. And Lord, we just pray that you would, Lord, you said your ear uh, is, your hand is not short, neither your ear too heavy that it cannot say, Father, we know that God, you have a long arm and we ask you to reach, reach way down, Lord, and touch those prodigals. Lord, convict them of sin and reveal to them how much you love them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, do it, Father, I pray. In Jesus' name. Miriam, I see that. Pray for physical sickness. Father, we lift up Miriam. We pray, God, you would touch her spirit, soul, and body. Lord, that physical sickness, we take authority over it today. For by your stripes, she's healed. We ask you, Lord, let her receive it, Lord, right now. In Jesus' name, let her feel your healing touch, Lord, in her body. We're not the healer, Lord, you are. Thank you, Lord. We ask you to touch her. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Again, if you have a need here, I want to pray for you uh, and uh, believe the Lord for you. Praise God. Gail, I see that. Pray for my daughter. Uh, Father, we lift up Gail and her daughter. God, we pray that you would just in a way that only you can, we pray that you would just bring healing from that health issue in the name of Jesus. For by your stripes she's healed. We believe you, God, for miracles in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And yes, I see that, Gerald, in, uh, in South Carolina. Pray for Paula and Jan. Pray for our country. Yes, we need to keep in prayer our country. You know, let me just mention this about praying for our country. Uh, and let me come back to that. I'm gonna, I see this right here. Uh, Marilyn, uh, daughter's deep depression is salvation. Father, in Jesus' name, I lift up Marilyn's daughter. And I pray, God, for deliverance from that depression and oppression, that darkness that comes with depression. I, Lord, I just pray that, God, the light, your light would shine upon her heart in the name of Jesus. Shine upon her spirit, her mind, in the name of Jesus, the light of your love. God, let her be, let her be delivered from that depression. Let her know how much you love her. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we claim Merlin's daughter in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We take authority over that darkness, that spirit of depression. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You are defeated 
Thank you, Lord. You are defeated. And every spirit of depression, you are defeated. Every thought of depression, you are defeated. Let joy replace sorrow in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And let me just uh, go back to praying for our country. I know that there are many of you that, that voted for uh, President Trump, just like myself. Maybe some of you didn't. I'm not here to talk about that. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, and Kathy, I see that. Um, but many of you pray for, uh, many of you voted for President Trump and you're disappointed in the, in the results and all kind of uh, uh, speculation, accusations about fraud and all that. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not here to, I don't want to talk about that, but it is what it is. We, and we, we have a new president and, uh, but some, when, when Trump was president, maybe you, maybe you had a, uh, a better inclination to pray for president Trump. Why is because president Trump was the most friendly you could say and uh and and supportive of the of the church of christianity the most supportive president that we've had in a, in a very long time and especially in modern history i should say the most supportive president that we've had and so it was easy to pray for a president like that or maybe you are watching and you didn't like President Trump and you, didn't, you, you had a hard time praying for him because of his vulgarity and his coarseness, his harshness. I, I'm, I wasn't for that myself, but uh, many of you, it was easier to maybe pray for President Trump. And now President Biden is in place and you're like, you know, I don't know what to pray for. I don't, or maybe you don't, maybe in your spirit, you're so disgusted and you don't want to pray and maybe you don't even know how to pray you're so disgusted about the whole situation uh and so frustrated that the last thing you want to do is is pray and can i say this that you know what i have seen observed uh is that there is more a tendency especially if you voted for trump and and Again, you're disappointed that he'd become president again. Uh, and you see the executive orders. You see the, see the things that, that, that are happening under President Biden. And there's more of an inclination to complain than there is to pray. But can I encourage you that we need to... We, we need to pray for our president. Pray for our... Pray for him. Pray for that he gets saved. Pray that the vice president gets saved. I know that the, the inclination for some would be to pray that, that, that somehow they get replaced somehow. I, whatever, that harm comes to them. That's not for us as a child of God to pray that way. But um, uh, we need to pray for our president and pray for our nation, pray for salvation, pray for a harvest of souls. Pray for the light to shine in their hearts. Pray that the fear of God grip their hearts. Uh, that that happens with Congress, with the Senate. And I know, I know there's a pessimistic attitude, even saying that, even hearing that, there's, there can be a pessimistic attitude like, all right, yeah, pray for that. Yeah, pray that, pray, pray that Congress gets gripped with the fear of God. Like, 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 like that's really going to happen. That's a vain prayer. Okay, hear me. Paul told us in uh, 2 Timothy chapter, I'm sorry, 1 Timothy chapter 2, 1 through 4, to pray for those over us pray that, and pray that they get saved. No matter who they are, no matter if they're a Nero over, over Rome and they are, want Christians killed, pray for their salvation. So pray. Can I, can I ask you this? If we as the body of Christ don't pray for them, Who's going to pray for them? Who, who, do, who do we leave it up to? The Mormons? The Jehovah Witnesses? They don't, they, as much as Jehovah Witnesses, they don't believe in any in, in involvement in government at all. Zero. Uh, 
They don't believe in being in the military, even being a police force or anything. Who are we going to leave it up to? The Buddhists? The Hindus? No. It's us, the body of Christ, us who are the light and the salt of the earth, who have Christ with us, within us, the hope of glory. It's us who are to pray. It's us that God is looking on, Psalms 34. God looks upon the righteous and his ears are open to our cry. So we need to pray. And so uh, uh, I want to go back here. And uh, yes, uh, all right. Joe, I want to pray for you. Uh, stage four, COPD, heart failure. Father, we lift up Joe right now. We pray for healing for him in the name of Jesus from that COPD. God, we take authority over it and we believe you, Father, for healing in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your healing virtue flow throughout his body from head to toe. For by your stripes, we, he is healed. God, let that COPD go from his body and let your healing virtue flow in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, touch that heart. Touch his heart, Father. He's experiencing heart failure, Lord. We pray that you would strengthen his heart, Father. Touch him, spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Lori, yes, I see that he can, God can change anyone's hearts. Prayers for all in leadership is God's will. Amen to that. Yes, praise the Lord. Uh, Marilyn, special prayer for my friend. Yes, I want to, Father, we lift up Donna in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray for her, for a healing touch in her body. For by your stripes, she's healed. We believe it, Lord. You told us just to pray and believe, Lord, and that's what we're doing. We're asking you, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in faith that you would touch Donna. Touch, Lord, those right now who need a healing touch. Lord Jennifer's husband, Father, we pray that you would heal him. In the name of Jesus, he needs healing in his body so he can continue daily activities and preaching the gospel. Father, we pray for her husband, Jennifer's husband. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over that sickness. In Jesus' name, let your healing virtue flow right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And Jimmy... You are forgiven in Jesus' name. Your sins are covered and you're washed clean. You are washed clean in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm just, yes, Father, we lift up Joe again. I pray, God, for deliverance from depression in the name of Jesus. Father, let the light shine. Let that darkness go from his mind. In the name of Jesus, let the light of your love shine upon his heart because there is no depression in your love, Jesus. And I pray that you would baptize his mind, his spirit, Lord, with your love, Lord, knowing how much you love him. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, can I share this about, uh, about depression? having experienced it myself and <laughs> uh, and oppression very much so in the course of my life you know with depression and with oppression there's a darkness there there's a darkness there and there's a a hopelessness there darkness hopelessness there is a lack of love of knowing the love of god and knowing that there is hope in Jesus Christ. There is always hope in Jesus. And hope is not wishful. Biblical hope is not wishful thinking. Biblical hope is believing that God is going to turn it around. Biblical hope is Romans 8 and verse 28. That we know that all things work together to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. We know that, that God is working all things together for the good, for your good and for God's glory. And so depression is a lie 
from the enemy. Depression is a lie from the enemy. Uh, Doug, I want to pray for you. Many things going on, work, financial, possibly a need to move. Um, I see that by your spouse. And Father, lift up Doug right now. And Lord, you know his needs. And Father, I just pray that, Lord, you would touch him. All the things that are going on, Lord, all the activity, Lord. So many distractions, Lord, that would distract him and discourage him. Father, I pray for Doug that you would, Lord, as David did, encourage himself in the Lord. Just remember your faithfulness, your goodness, Lord, how, how faithful that you've been to him over the years. What you have done in his life, what you have delivered him from. And I, we ask that, Lord, that you would bring a calm to that storm that Doug's in, in the name of Jesus, and supernaturally provide for Doug in his work, in his finance, finances. Lord, touch his wife. And we ask you, Lord, for your conviction and your love to grip her heart, in the name of Jesus. Take the blindfold off her eyes, Father, we pray. In Jesus' name, let her see you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let her see you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Jennifer, I see that my aunt is in congestive heart failure. Father, we lift up Jennifer's aunt, and we pray, God, that you would bring healing to her aunt with that heart failure. Father, we pray heal that aunt's heart. Lord, heal her heart in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bring healing to her heart in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, bring healing. Uh, Tysha, I see that uh, Justin for healing, a new kidney transplant. Father, we lift up Justin. Lord, we pray that, Lord, you know who he is and you know where he's at. And your eye is upon him. Father, we lift up Justin right now. We pray for healing. In the name of Jesus, he needs a kidney. Father, you're the great Lord. You are, you're, you're the healer. Jesus, you're the great physician. And we ask you, Lord, for healing for him. And that God, that you would bring healing. And Lord, just bring a reversal of the situation that he's been in. Lord, waiting for that kidney transplant. We pray that you would either bring healing or bring the supply of that new kidney and bring it quick, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. As Daniel prayed in Daniel chapter 9, Lord, do not delay. Lord, we need your answer soon. We pray that for Justin in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Joan, God, we pray for Joan has sleepless nights. We pray that you bring sleep to her body, her mind. Lord, let her sleep well. We take authority over in the name of Jesus over those things in her body and her mind that are not causing that are that are causing her not to sleep. And Lord, let the peace of God. Lord, you said it in Philippians 4 in verse 7 that your peace would guard our heart and mind. Let it touch Joan today in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you for all of you that uh, are praying uh, for us, uh, Sharon and I, a family, Covenant Church here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, thank you for those of you that are praying for us. Uh, we covet your prayers. And we're believing God for great things. Uh, 2020 was a difficult year for everyone. It was a difficult year to try to start a church. Uh, and uh, but you know the Lord's faithful, and we're moving. We're moving forward, and um, we want to see souls saved, people that are coming to grow in the Lord. And God's already He's already doing that. The people that are coming as a part of Covenant Church. God is giving us increase. That means spiritual growth. He's giving us spiritual growth, and I thank God for that. I just want more. <laughs> That's my heart uh, as a pastor. I just want more. Uh, and we're not all, we're, believe me, we're not about numbers. If we were about numbers, we would have never left Baton Rouge, all right? But we're about obeying the will of God. And we we know that God called us here. So thank you for praying for us. And can I just mention this? Pray that God, uh, I, you know what? I know God's going to do it. But we, 
in my heart, I would just love to have a, a bigger facility and our, our own property, our own land. And uh, I just encourage you to pray for us in that way. Stephanie, I see that. I have got court, um, pray, yes, court situation. Father, we lift up Stephanie. And Father, you know that need of the court situation. And Father, I just pray that you would, that you would just intervene in that court situation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let there be fairness and equity and, Lord, favor in that court situation, in that decision for Stephanie and all those involved. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you, God, for favor and your help and your intervention. In Jesus' name, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Carlene, I see that. Pray for your daughter. Uh, she begins a 13-week traveling respiratory therapy. I uh, see that. Father, we lift up uh, Melissa, and we pray, God, that you would touch her as she begins this uh, uh, job. Father, we pray that you would touch her, Lord, and help her, give her protection, uh, Lord, give her protection as she ministers to people who have uh, COVID. We pray that for protection for her, that you would use her. Lord, help her. Get, let your hand and your favor rest upon her. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. I want to lift up the other needs. Uh, Gabrielle, I see there. Pray for your family. Father, we lift up Gabrielle's family. God, we pray that you would touch her and her family in the name of Jesus. You know the needs, and I pray that, God, the light of your love would shine upon your, that family, Lord, her family, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Catherine, yes, healing, in Jesus' name. Uh, Clara healing from blockage in my right leg and around my heart. Father, we lift up Clara right now, and we pray for healing from that blockage in her leg and around her heart. Father, we pray that that blockage would just be removed in the name of Jesus. For by your stripes we are healed. Let her be healed in the name of Jesus in her heart and in her leg for Clara in Jesus' name, let your hand touch her, Lord, even right now. Lord, even as I touch my own chest, Lord, touch Clara in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Praise God. Patricia, I see that. Pray for you, your family, salvation, peace. Uh, Father, we pray for Patricia. We pray for her family in Jesus' name. Lord, touch her from head to toe. Meet every need right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, touch her. Touch her, Lord. Uh, all right, I see that, Carlene, the other need. Father, we ask you to touch Nora Rose, young lady who needs a touch from God. Touch her in the name of Jesus. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Touch Nora in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Tysha, I see that. If you go to CornellMinistries.com, our website, there'll be a giving thing there, a giving icon. That, that's how you can give to our ministry. And thank you for uh, mentioning that. Thank you, Richard, for praying for us. Uh, LX, uh, pray for my family and healing of past wounds and forgiveness. And yes, that's a huge thing. Father, we pray for LX right now. God, you know his situation. We pray for healing in his heart and forgiveness. Lord, to fill his heart for those who have wronged them. Lord, we pray that your forgiveness would fill their heart in Jesus' name. And Lord, the freedom that comes with forgiving others, Lord. Let that come. Let that freedom come in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As they grant forgiveness, as you have granted us forgiveness, let your let that freedom come in Jesus' name. Carl, I, I'm sorry, Carrie, I see that healing for my daughter Nadia. 
Father, we pray for Carrie's daughter, Nadia. We pray for healing for her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, touch Nadia right now in the name of Jesus. You know her in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And Sam, I see that. It's so good to see you, Sam. God bless you. Pray for my kiddos to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Yes. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for Sam and all the children, Lord, all the children. And Father, we pray that you would baptize them with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Father, let them be filled in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God, you know their need. You know the, the, their need for the baptism to be filled with your power. And you know the desire of their parents. Lord, let them receive that baptism of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. And David, I see that you need your guardianship back. And Father, lift up David right now, and I pray that God, you'd intervene and help him. Lord, get that uh, guardianship back. You know the situation. You know the need, Father. We believe you, Lord, to meet that need. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Praise God. You know, the Lord uh, is the one who meets all of our needs. He hears us and he answers. And I want to say something I said at the very beginning uh, of this just little time of encouragement and prayer that, that, you know, we're not the healer, but the Lord calls us as the body of Christ, as children of God, those who are redeemed, to believe him for healing. He tells us in Isaiah 53 and verse 5 that by his stripes we are healed. And so we need to believe the Lord for that. He tells it in Mark 11, 24, if you ask anything, I will do it. And of course, that's in the name of Jesus. That's not just saying the name of Jesus, but that's meaning that through his person, through the person of Christ, and through the finished work of Christ upon a cross, on the, uh, on the cross, and the fact that he's risen from the dead. We're not calling upon a dead savior. We're not calling upon a dead healer or a dead provider. No, he's a living provider and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. And he's alive and he's with you today. I want to encourage you again. He's with you today. He knows your need and he is with you in Jesus name. So don't be discouraged. I know some of you uh, come on here. You say you have, uh, there's depression. That depression is a lie from the enemy. Discouragement is a lie from the enemy. Hear me today. Anything that's not in Christ is a lie. And discouragement, uh, the, the thoughts of just wanting to give up, suicidal thoughts are all a lie. They are a lie. And I encourage you, when those thoughts come in, let them be, let them, let they thought we we can't protect ourselves from thoughts coming, but when they come, just let them go in the name of Jesus because they're lies. Recognize them as lies and just let them go. That's, that's what, the, what, what Peter was meaning when he said, resist the devil steadfast in the faith and he will flee. Resist the devil steadfast in the faith. Resist, resist the lies with the truth of what Christ has done for you, who you are in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Praise the Lord. And I see your mom. Uh, praise God. That's my mom, Susan Davis. I want to pray for you, mom, right now, right here. Father, we lift up my mom, and I pray for complete healing for her. And John, in the name of Jesus, we believe you, Father, for healing in the name of Jesus. No complications. Lord, no complications. Lord, a quick recovery in Jesus' name. For devil, you are defeated and every virus is defeated. Every affliction of the body and of the mind is defeated in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Yes, and Lori, you said, thank you, Lord, for a roof and a food. Mercies every day. Thank you for providing. You are good, good father. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. God's a good father. 
He is your father today. That is, if you know Jesus, and if you don't know Jesus, you can accept him today into your heart to be your Savior and Lord. It's as easy as ABC. It wasn't easy for Christ. He paid the ultimate price. He laid down his life. He was the perfect, the perfect lamb of God. He was God's gift for you. He died on the cross for your sins. But here's the thing. You've got to admit that you're a sinner in need of Jesus. So admit that today. Believe. Admit that to God. Believe in your heart that Jesus died for your sins and that God raised him from the dead, that he's alive, and he did it all for you. Believe that. And just confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Let that come out of your mouth. Jesus, you have forgiven me of my sin. I repent of my sins, and I turn to you. You are my Savior and my Lord. Let that come out of your mouth. In Jesus' name, praise God. The Lord is faithful. Oh, the Lord is faithful. Praise God. All right. Well, what, I'm going to go uh, today, but uh, I thank you for joining me on here uh, for these few minutes. I just want to encourage you and pray with you and be encouraged today. And I want to read to you again what Paul wrote in Philippians 4, uh, verses 4 through 7. Rejoice in the Lord always. Today, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Let your meekness, or that is the Christ-like, let Christ-like character be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. In other words, he's coming soon. Be anxious, be worried, be stressed out about nothing. But in everything, by prayer, bring it all to God, your Father, in prayer. By everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Well, God bless you today. Have a wonderful evening in Jesus Christ. God loves you.